Excuse me, Spider-Man, would you mind if I quickly had sex with your ship? Have we got room for solar panels, do you think? Um, I think we can put a ton of them on the sides. Oh, yeah. Unless, of course, you're retrofitting that you're bound to do soon. <laughs> it's going to take up all the space there. Because that's the, the wheels and the thrusters are the next things, aren't they? Yeah, I'll get onto all of that very soon. No, we'll see about that. <laughs> well, I said I'd finish the engine compartment soon, and it was only a day later. That's what I meant, and it's not even finished yet. I'm pretty sure there's still a big gaping hole in the floor. Um. Um. Or one of the sides. Um. Both, actually. But. Uh. That wasn't what I thought. Mm. I thought bodywork was your. thing. Well, I gave you the entire engine room, uh, and usually rooms also have, have a floor. Floors and floors. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, unless, of course, you want to tell me British engineering disregards <laughs> floors, then I, I am sorry in that case. Um, okay. Let's just see if I've got everything fitted out that needs to be fitted out. Oh, you're going to want this ceiling, aren't you? Damn it. What? Uh, you want, you're going to want it ceiling. Like, oxygen tight. So I can't just... That have would help, pipes. yes. Yeah. So that means I'm going to need to put a conveyor there. Unless, of course, you don't want to have oxygen in your caravan. I mean, come on, who would, who would put oxygen in there? That's boring, right? <laughs> I think it's important to have, because caravans should have oxygen. Okay, so where is floor level? That's floor level. Where did I leave? There they are. Okay. Interior plate. Have I got any? Uh, and I have no displays in there. Did I go back to my big ship and just pick up one display before I did, didn't I? That's dreadful. Terribly inefficient. Depends. If you would have only needed one of those, then it would be been fine, but... Oh, well. <laughs> well, I could have picked up something else that I was going to be needing while I was here. Um, oh, we're very low on small steel tubes. And actually, we've not many construction components left either. Oh, Mia, that's what I was going to ask. Um, with the the new thingy in Space Engineers, the one that, like, all of the weight calculations and that, um, does, it, does it take into account the weight of ore and ingots? Of course. It does. And so if I refine ore, does it 
turn, does it ever gain weight? Uh, I'd imagine it would get lighter. You would think so, wouldn't you? I mean, that's the logical process of refining something. But I don't know, maybe Keen thought of it differently. It'd be logical in a non-oxygenated environment, for sure. In an oxygenated environment, that wouldn't necessarily be the case. So there are um, certain chemicals that, as you process them, gain weight rather than lose weight. Is iron one of them? Yes, it is. Oh. Well, why don't you try it? Just measure the weight of one piece of iron ore, and then refine it and measure that mm. too, and then you see. Yeah, I might do that at some point just to understand how the mechanics work. But in in space, that shouldn't work because you can't. There isn't any external oxygen to pick up to you know to sort of sl to bring on board that wasn't already there. Uh, what did I just need? I forgot. Oh, small steel tubes. Hmm. I might have to get some stuff processing in a minute. Where did I leave the welder? Uh, start now. I'm currently trying to recharge at my station. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm ready to put floors in things now. Take your time. I'm still trying to recharge. Okay. Um, I will probably ask for your help with doors, because I'm not experienced with the oxygen type doors. They've always been somebody else. Because when you start getting into walls and doors, this is like it's like base building. Well, there's always a first time for everything, so it's time for you to get accustomed to doors sure you can show me how they work it it it's a door <laughs> uh yeah but i think what we want is in the bottom of the engine compartment uh there should be a do you think it should well i suppose we've got the the emergency vent thingy at the front haven't we in theory. Mm. Unless, of course, you want to have a big one and be able to detach the entire reactor. Hmm. I always wanted to have a ship like that, even though I'm not entirely sure what that would use you in Space Engineers. Unless, of course, reactors can blow up. Can they? Uh, they used to be able to blow up, but if your reactor blew up, it'd take half your ship with it. Yeah, which is why a mechanism that would allow you to drop the reactor would be sensible. Hmm. Yeah, well, we can um, maybe have a look at that. I'll, in the meantime, I shall. Uh, you're not going to want this purple, are you? Uh, let's grab whatever colours there already. I'll get the rest of the floor sort of laid out and I'll leave a gap where the reactor is so that it could be dropped out and then if you could come and give me a helping hand with figuring out door situation that'd be great. So you want to have a droppable reactor? Um, sure, why not? Well, That's going to be a very complicated mechanism. Not only would we need to have the entire reactor compartment detachable and only connected by, well, connectors to the rest of the conveyor system, we'd also need to have a set of merge blocks and at least one thruster to thrust the reactor out. 
Yeah, we don't actually need to make it so that you can actually do that, but from a, an appearance point of view, from how it... Because if you were... Um, Unless, a, of course, we put into grinders at the points where we have our conveyor blocks, then we wouldn't need to have the connectors, but still the thruster and the... That is going to be one complicated mechanism. Yeah, no, you don't need to, to have to do it that way. Um, if we were caravan mechanics, we would want a we would want a hole in the floor or a door or however you look at it um, that was big enough to allow a reactor to pass through if you wish to grind away the. Um, the conveyor tubes. You wouldn't want to have to grind away your ship to get a reactor out and put a new one in. Is that really how caravans work? The ones with reactors in that are space worthy, I think that is exactly how they work, yeah. With my my knowledge of earthbound vehicles, I think that that's probably appropriate. Okay. So we would want it to come to here. Because you want to make sure that your biggest component can be removed through the gap that you have available. So I'm guessing that some of the blocks that I've put in there need to come out and be replaced by the door. But I'll let you tell me. I need to get some charge. So what are you doing here? I'm on my way downstairs to see what crazy thing you're talking about. <laughs> okay. I just need to get some energy. Uh, now what's it making? Um, how's your lag and stuff? Are you being bothered by the reactors? I'm saying no. Oh, I don't think I need them to be doing anything at this point. I already said no. I know, but really. Shush. This isn't going to work. No, really, this isn't going to work. The airtight hangar door wouldn't fit in here. Okay. Uh, let me let me come see. And what do I need to adjust to make it fit in there? Invent an airtight hangar door that extends an even number of blocks. Oh, okay. So. Or an uneven number of blocks, however you look at it. Okay. So, how many blocks do they extend? Well, we have the base block, and then from there on, two on out. Okay, so we can remove any of the blocks that I've already placed? In theory, yes. Yeah, yeah. But it would overhang on one side. Uh... It just give me a second, I'll... Plug them in. Okay. Or I don't because I can't grind it. Okay, never mind. Uh, if you point me at something, I can do the grinding. Just tell me which thing to grind. I can do it, eventually. 
Uh, these two blocks here? I'm trying, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me do the things you can't. These two blocks here? I'm not sure. Or are you doing blocks somewhere else? Me. I'm removing blocks, I think. What's oh, that's that. Oh. Do you want me to just take out all of the uh, scaffolding? Not entirely, oh, it was you, wasn't it? Yeah. No. You're going too far, but okay. Okay, so just the sort of inner... Okay, anything else? Yeah, I mean, we, we should play to our strengths, Mia. But I am unable to play the game. I, uh, you can do the designing. I can do the grinding and the welding. Come on, we, we Pretty know sure if I just wait a few more minutes, I won't be able to place blocks anymore, too. Does it need to be that wide? Well, I don't know. No, actually, I'll wait and see. It should be that wide, otherwise the reactor will get wedged into the blocks on the sides. You're right. Yeah, we don't want an interference fit. We do want a little bit of excess space. Okay, you want me to take that one out? Yes, please. That one? Do you want me to take out any more? The entire row up until okay. the wall. I mean, we know this from playing Portal. Uh, you do the brains and I'll do the crump work. N you're supposed to do the brains. <laughs> and we, I mean, I do for a while. I do some of the brains in Portal. Usually where you think it's simple enough for me to do. Okay, so shall I get welding, or uh, is this demonstration enough for me that it won't work? Oh, it won't work. It won't work. Oh, wait. We'll work on one side. Okay. The other one might scrape. Oh, those airtight hanger doors are robust. They will work. Just weld it up. Furthermore, we're going to use an artificial mass to drag the ship down. But you know we're going to need an auxiliary reactor ray somewhere, otherwise we won't be able to run the ship anymore as soon as the thing is deconnected, disconnected. Uh, I've got two small reactors already in place and charged, if that counts. Okay, that counts probably <laughs> yeah that's not like you you're not usually um, begrudging with your praise uh, 